Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you all how to easily install mods for Cyberpunk 2077 using Vortex Mod Manager and of course all the mods on Nexus Mods. I know that sometimes modding a game can seem quite a daunting task, but if you follow along here you will have all of your favourite Cyberpunk 2077 mods up and running in just a few minutes. Also if you enjoy this type of content please consider subbing to the channel and dropping a like and without further ado let's get right into it. So before we start installing any mods, it's important to install our mod manager, Vortex. First, we'll head over to nexusmods.com and create an account. You don't need a subscription to the premium service in order to do this, and the free version is just as good. Once you've registered an account, you want to go up to the top and click on install Vortex. You'll need to click on download the latest version, and then click on manual, and then download. Then simply click slow download, as we are using the free version and wait for that to install. Once it is installed, you simply want to open it up and go through the few pop-ups until it's fully installed onto your computer. From here, launch Vortex Mod Manager and log into your newly made Nexus account. Sometimes, the Vortex Mod Manager will detect your game files automatically, but if not, simply go to the Games tab, look for Cyberpunk 2077 and click Manage. Now, we've got Vortex all ready to install mods for Cyberpunk 2077, but before we get to any of the wacky mods available for the game, we'll have to download a few core tools and mods to get there. Now, Cyberpunk 2077, like most games, has various key tools or mods that are necessary for other more content-heavy mods to actually work. They are absolutely essential in being able to play Cyberpunk 2077 with mods, as they really set the foundation for every other mod to be able to work in a fluid manner. I'll put the links for these tools in the description, but you can also simply just follow along. Now, we're going to go back to nexusmods.com, but this time for Cyberpunk 2077 specifically. Once you're on the page, you're going to want to scroll down and click on Popular. From here five specific mods or tools are of interest to us and that is the Cyber Engine Tweaks mod, Red Script mod, Archive Excel mod, Tweak Excel mod and Red 4EXT mod. For each of these mods we're going to click on the respective mod pages, click on manual download and then click on slow download. We're going to just repeat the same step for all of these tools until we've got all five of them installed. Once that's done we're going to need to go to our games install folder. This will work both on Steam and GOG by simply replicating the equivalent but because I've got the game on Steam that's where I'll be doing this. In Steam, right click on the game, manage and then press browse local files. This will bring you to your game's install folder. I'd recommend opening up a tab of your downloads in order to make this next step a little easier. From here we're going to first install the mod most essential for Cyberpunk 2077 and that is Cyber Engine Tweaks. Simply open up the zip folder for the mod and drag the contents of it into the game's install folder directly. Before we do this for the others, I recommend launching the game up and making sure that this install is working. You'll know if it is because a pop up for CET will show up on the screen when launching up the game and I recommend you set a keybind to open this menu if it is needed later. Once this is done, simply close out of the game and now for the remaining four core tools, simply open them one by one and drag their contents into the game's directory. Once this is all done, you've now got all of the prerequisite tools you need to properly install mods for Cyberpunk 2077. Now that we've got the most boring part out of the way, we can look for the mods that we actually want to install on Nexus Mods. Again, go to the Cyberpunk 2077 mod page on Nexus Mods and scroll down and click on a mod that you want. I'll first show you how to do this with one mod and this will be something that will be extremely easy to replicate for all the different mods that you want. For the sake of simply showing you how easy the mod install is and to show that it's working in game, I'm going to go for the Native Settings UI mod. What this mod essentially does is just add another tab in the game's menu simply called Mod which will allow other mods to add their own settings menus using the game's native UI. Once I click on this mods page, this time I'm going to click on mod manager download and then press download. Again, click on slow download and you should get a pop-up on the screen asking if you want to open the file in Vortex. Click allow and open. Now opening up Vortex mod manager, you'll see that whatever mod you wanted to install is now downloading inside of the mod manager. And once this is done, you'll simply want to click on mods and then press enable if it isn't already. Now that we've done that, the mod should be enabled and ready to be working within the game itself. So let's go test that out right now. So quickly again, make sure that the mod or mods that you have installed are tagged with enabled in the Vortex mod manager. And if they are, you should be already ready to go. From here, simply relaunch the game again and load up your save in order to see if your new mod is working. As mine was simply adding a mods tab in the game's menu, you probably already saw it while I was in the game's title screen. By loading up a save and pressing on the escape key, you can clearly see that my installation of that mod is working just as intended and so we're all ready to go. 
With all of that said, you should now be officially ready to go with modding in Cyberpunk 2077 with the use of the Vortex Mod Manager. You can now just install any mod you want by simply going to the specific mod page and clicking on Mod Manager and then Download, which will then bring the download into Vortex as I demonstrated earlier. There are some mods that will require you to go back to the game's files and extract their content, and it will usually say that on the mod page, so keep an eye for that if you do run into any of these sorts of mods. If you did run into any problems, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll try my best to remedy any problems that you do have. Anyway, that's all from me for today's video. If you did enjoy, please consider subbing to the channel for more Cyberpunk 2077 and RPG content, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.